friends, it's Nancy, and I'm here to do a flip through of this journal, and I'm calling this journal Simple Pleasures. So the cover itself is patchwork that I made myself from uh, a bunch of different calico prints, and in between each square I've embroidered this green thread you can see there, and some quilting lines. Um, the the Rick Rack is vintage, and these pom poms and leaves not pom poms, sorry. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, it's completely gone out of my head. All I can think of is yo yos. There we go, we got it. Came from a uh, vintage curtain tie back. So it was a strip of fabric and had these these leaves and these yo-yos stitched on. The crocheted lace that's all around the cover came from a vintage uh, linen that I uh, tore apart. <laughs> um, there is five signatures and it's a hidden hollow back spine. It's a hard cover. And oh, I think it measures about eight and a half by six ish. Um, the inside, oops, the inside is covered in fabric, both front and back. And you'll see these pockets are made from a grandmother's flower garden block. Uh, which is hexagon stitched together and I just uh, squared it off to make a pocket um, oh, let me pause for just a minute sorry about that my computer was making all kinds of weird noises so the inspiration uh, came for this journal came from this book the charm of simple things that was filled with um, quotes and art and photos lots of really good stuff um, lots of opportunities for fussy cutting. So many, in fact, that I have fussy cut a number of page elements here. Um, so there's a watering can, some flowers, there's a wheelbarrow, sewing basket, lots of pretty little things that I have uh, fussy cut out and ink the edges and they are ready to be added to your pages or to tags um, or used in another project altogether. And if I can just get everything back in here, we'll be cooking with gas. So I've been working on this book for quite a while. I'm just gonna leave that. <laughs> um, and it, the pages it's in throughout the book are cutoffs and scraps that I have stitched together with this black zigzag. Um, so a lot of work went into the creation of the book itself, which means some of the page elements have been really toned down, very, very simplified. So lots of fussy cuts that have been um, carefully cut and inked and uh, we'll just flip through. So here is a, a verse that was in the, the, the book, the, the Charm of Simple Things. And I've written it in here using uh, my version of a font um, made popular by Rebecca Sower. So it's kind of a a haphazard sloppy kind of a print um, but I think it looks really interesting and here's a fussy cut from the book here's some tea dyed lace here's another little saying and another fussy cut there's some eggs that were fussy cut another saying 
And you know, this one really rings true for me that simple pleasures are so much more important to me and I enjoy them so much more now as I get older. You know, a glass of water tastes really good <laughs> if you just take the time to enjoy it. Um, this was cut from a, a vintage card and it had this ribbon looped through it. So I left it. I thought that was kind of an, an interesting addition. Uh, another fussy cut. There's a lot of paint pieces in here that were vintage uh, greeting cards, like this textured, colored, colored by age and textured piece. Lots of uh, line papers, ledger papers. Live gently. This is another grandmother's flower from a grandmother's flower garden quilt patch here. And I've just stitched it to the page so that it can be used as a tuck spot. Um, and it matches one of the um, fabrics in the cover. Here's a, a tag that I made. It says small moments. This is mainly a writing journal, but having these blocks um, really gives you opportunities to do little sketches, um, lists, that sort of thing. You know, separating things into blocks. Some more lace dyed paper there. Contentment is a simple thing. It's from an old travel journal. Delight in simple things. Here it says near and dear. Um, this is a tab that I made from a piece uh, cut off from a grandmother's flower garden, and it's on. I used two pieces and adhered them together, sewed them together, actually. Um, and it says, getting things accomplished isn't nearly as important as taking time for love. This is from an old stamp album. Some fussy cuts. Another fussy cut from the book. I shouldn't be lifting this so high. Another fussy cut. Oops. Here's a tag that I made and I've just glued it on to, uh, the side and the bottom to make a tuck spot. And there's four tags like this in the journal that are uh, collage on one side and tea dyed ledger paper vintage ledger paper on the back. Has a little fabric tie at the top, but this is easily removed. Uh, I've done stitching around the tag. So you can take um, you know, one of these fussy cuts and, well not that one, <laughs> uh, but maybe this lavender. Or uh, you can add some words or something. Um, and and I just wanted to keep it simple. There's another tab made out of uh, scraps from a grandmother's flower garden block. Another little fussy cut. Here's a pocket that I made from a vintage envelope and it has two tuck spots so this is Inside the envelope, here's another plainish tag that can be decorated. And then the top is open so it can also act as a pocket. And this has got a collage of fabric and a postage mark and a photo.
Here's uh, another grandmother's flower garden and a journaling card that I made. This little picture of a girl feeding her chickens. She doesn't look much older than two or three. She's a very little girl. Here's another pocket. I uh, made this using the other half of that vintage envelope. This one had uh, stamps from um, Italy on it. And I've just left it open at the top for a pocket, a little fussy cut, and some collage. And another plainish tag ready for decorating. These are dahlias, aren't they beautiful? A basket of apples. And the very end, here's a final cutout from, uh, this is another pocket made from a grandmother's flower garden patch. Um, this was fussy cut from the, the book and I thought I could cut out the envelopes and make a pocket. I could decorate with the ink bottle, but I also thought, oh, I could back this with some card and make a tuck spot like that. Um, I had lots of ideas, but uh, I thought, I'm just going to tuck it in there and let the next owner think about how they would like to use that or if they want to use that. So if you're seeing this journal, it is listed for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, go ahead and take a look and see if this is something you're interested in. Thank you so much for joining me and um, for your encouragement in creating this journal. Um, it took me a long time to finish it. <laughs> Months months. <laughs> um, but I'm glad it's done. Thanks again. We'll talk to you again soon.